Hey guys, what's up? And this will be my video on how to jailbreak on the 3.1.3 firmware. This jailbreak will work for the iPhone 2nd Gen, the iPhone 3G, the iPod Touch 1st Gen, the iPod Touch 2nd Gen, at the, for the uh, older non-MC models. Uh, and this will work for Windows and Mac. This does not work on the iPhone 3GS new and old boot ROM and it doesn't work on the iPod Touch 3G as well as the iPod Touch 2nd Gen with the uh, new with the MC model. Uh, for the new iPod Touch, uh, it will be in the description for that particular jailbreak. Alright, so read the description to know uh, which jailbreak you will need for your iPod for your iPod Touch, all right? So to know if you have the MC or non-MC model, what you'll do is go into general, is go into settings, general, about, and then you'll see that it says, where it says version, it will see, you'll see it says three point, uh, it'll say uh, the model, and if it doesn't say MC, uh, it will work for this particular jailbreak and if it says MC there will be a download link for that particular from a uh, model of the iPod Touch 2nd gen. Alright so now what you'll do is download Red Snow in the description then once you download Red Snow you'll go to uh, th your browser of your choice and then you'll find your device in this uh, in this uh, what on this website you'll see it says iPhone and if you have the first uh, first gen iPhone you'll choose the 3.1.2 firmware if you have the iPhone 3G you'll choose the iPhone 3G 3.1.2 firmware if you have the iPod touch 1G you'll choose the iPhone uh, 3.1.2 firmware and if you have the iPod second gen you'll choose the 3.1.2 firmware and yeah all right so then you'll X out of your browser then what you'll do is make sure your iPhone or iPod Touch is connected via USB. After you have done that, you'll open up Red Snow. Alright, so once you open up Red Snow, it will ask you to browse for the firmware. Alright, so you'll be running the 3.1.3 firmware, but you'll uh, download the 3.1.2 firmware. Alright, so you'll select the 3.1.2 firmware, then hit Open. Then it will say processing firmware, and then uh, you'll wait until it says finished. Alright, so then you'll hit the next button, and then it will prepare the jailbreak data. Alright, so once it once you have prepared the once it is finished preparing the jailbreak data, it'll go to the next screen. You'll see that it says in install Cydia, which you'll check. Verbose boot, which is a, a when you boot up your iPhone or iPod Touch, it'll give you uh, some scripting and it'll show all the processes it takes to boot up your iPhone or iPod Touch. So you can check that. Uh, you could choose to have a custom boot logo. It will browse for a PNG file and then you can choose that as the custom boot logo and it also has to be the dimensions of the iPhone or iPod touch which is 320 by 480 all right and if you're already jailbroken and you just want to get these new features of verbose boot custom boot logo and custom recovery logo you'll choose already pwned all right so if you're uh, jailbreaking on the 3.1.3 firmware you'll choose install Cydia all right so and uh, verbose boot is optional as well as the other things except for already pwned. Alright, so once you choose what you want, you'll uh, go to next and then it will say please make sure your device is both off and plugged into your computer. And so that's what you'll do. So you'll have to make sure your device is both off and plugged in before you proceed to the next step. Alright, so you'll head to your iPhone or iPod touch You'll hit slide to power off and then wait till it is completely off. So you'll make sure you're ready to proceed to the next step because once you proceed to the next step, you'll, you'll have to go directly into DFU mode. Alright, so.
first it will say hold the power button for three seconds then the next thing that it will say is power you'll hold the power and home button for 10 seconds then you'll just ho hold the home button for 30 seconds alright so uh, have your finger on the power button of your iPhone or iPod touch and then uh, once you hit next hold that power button then you'll uh, be holding the power button as well as the home button for five four three two one zero you should see a black screen on your iPhone or iPod touch and now without releasing the home button release the power button but keep holding the home button for 22 seconds alright so now we'll say uh, waiting for a reboot and you'll see a white screen on your iPhone or iPod touch and now you should see an image that says downloading jailbreak data and you'll see a little progress bar at the bottom of the program then you'll wait until it says uh, jailbreak finished alright so you'll set your iPod down and you don't have to keep holding any buttons but you'll just make sure the USB cable on your iPhone or iPod touch is plugged in alright now uh, it is done and now you can uh, close the Red Snow program. All right. So now that is all you'll have to do. You'll wait for your iPhone or iPod Touch to reboot, and then you will be jailbroken. All right. So thank you for watching this tutorial on how to jailbreak 3.1.3. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and rate five stars.